All right, guys, I am so excited. As you know, Spirit Halloween has been putting out a whole bunch of new awesome merchandise already for the 2023 Halloween season. I couldn't resist. There were a couple of these things that I saw that I knew I had to get because I had to see what they do. I teased you guys a little the other day in a short about this awesome package that arrived on my front doorstep, and today we are going to open it. Now, there are two things in here, but we're only going to take out one in this video, and we'll take out the other in the other video. So let's go ahead and get this open. It's always tough when I get this stuff in the mail and then I have to wait to open it because I want to make a video of it and I want you guys to see me opening it right in front of your eyes. <laughs> so, okay, here we go. I got to keep the things secret until I pull them out. We got a lot of bubble wraps here, a lot more bubble wraps, even more bubble wraps, and even more bubble wraps. What the heck? Spooky bubbles! Speaking of spooky bubbles, <laughs> okay, so guys, oh my gosh, there are two things in here and both of them are so totally awesome. I said in my video where I was looking at the uh, the new zombie babies that were like horror characters that I was going to wait till I get in the store to buy this stuff, but I wanted to make sure I got these two things right here. And I also wanted to see what they do for myself and show you ahead of time so maybe you can get as excited as I am about buying them once they're in the store. So the one I'm going to show you right here, <laughs> hold on, it's stuck. Oh my gosh, so cool. Hold on, here we go. It's this guy right here, and you already see it's the Butcher. Look at this, what in the heck, man? How cool. I had no clue they were gonna be coming out with a Butcher doll this season. This guy, I knew I had to buy him the second I saw him. Oh my gosh, he is so cool. Look at the face. Look at the face on that guy. <laughs> And I gotta say it, he definitely needs the Aqua Fresh. Now, you can tell, like, by the build of this guy, that it's supposed to be a pig mask. And I love that. Look at this over here. Okay, first of all, he has his gloves on. He's got a bloody apron. He's got, well, they're soft, but they're supposed to be boots, basically. And then look at this. He's got his butcher knife. Look at that thing. I would not want to wake up in the middle of the night and see this guy at the foot of my bed. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and take him off the card here. Where's my knife? All right. I'm so excited to hear the sounds that this guy makes. I mean, he's probably just like the Butcher the Animatronic, but you just never know. There he is. Oh my gosh. How cool is that guy? Look at that. He is so creepy. He's even scarier than the Animatronic. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's so cool. Look how long his snout is. How crazy is that? Sir, you have a very long snout. <laughs> All right, so before we pull that and start making sounds, let me just look at the back of the packaging here. Okay, remove battery cover, remove old batteries, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't say anything on here about like what he says or what kind of sounds he makes, but again, I would be willing to bet that it's just going to be just like the uh, the animatronic. So let's go ahead and pull this. He started making sounds there, but I'm going to make you guys wait for a second because I want to look and see what this voice box looks like in here. Okay, so it's not even wired in. We've got a button here you can push that makes him start talking. Um, and the little slider back here... It says, try me and censor. But there's also no volume on this, and there is nowhere that you can plug in an external speaker. So this is the voice box. This is the speaker itself. Yeah, it must be referring to the button as a sensor because I've had this on playing with it here. Waving my hand in front of it does absolutely nothing. So let's go ahead and put it back in this guy fits right in the back there, and then he closes up with the Velcro. So there he goes, and then when you squeeze it... So 
He's kind of quiet, to be honest. I do wish he had a volume control in there where you could turn him up, but he does make the same sounds as the animatronic. The thing is, you push the button and he just keeps going and going and going and going. He says, like, all the sounds in one long string. Like with the vintage clown here, if we push his button... And that's it. It's just a quick, short thing. But with the butcher... <laughs> he just goes on and on and on and on. So what I'm going to do so that you can see him and hear everything that he says, I'm just going to throw a picture up here, and I'm going to hit the button and let it roll and let you guys listen to it. My personal feelings on this guy is that he is totally awesome. He is, man, quite possibly my very favorite talking doll I've seen from Spirit Halloween so far. The only thing is that I wish he were a little louder.